saving local businesses money and making Tallahassee a more vibrant community. Tonight, a new idea is giving one part of town a facelift. New at 11, ABC 27's Christian Thomas shows us who's behind the new art project and why it's much more than just paint. As long as I've been down here, you walk through this alley and there's litter, there's trash, it's not a nice place. Jared Willis has worked in downtown Tallahassee for five years. He's talking about Galley Alley, a shortcut to work for some, an opportunity for vandalism for others, creating a burden for local businesses. That had been vandalized over and over again. Elizabeth Emanuel is the CEO of the Tallahassee Downtown Improvement Authority. And was really costing the downtown businesses in their time and their effort and their money to continually abate the graffiti. And they saw an opportunity to turn the alley into a gallery of art with the help of local business sponsors and the talent of Tallahassee artists. This was something that makes people feel safer, it's brighter, it was no cost to the businesses in the area. Gus Corbella is the senior director of Greenberg Traurig, just steps away from the alley. He says with downtown Tallahassee becoming more urbanized, the new art could help them boost tourism and... Discourage further graffiti from happening by, you know, somebody hopefully not being shamed to not wanting to paint over something really beautiful. Making the heart of Tallahassee more welcoming, a connection Willis says he's definitely noticed. For people that are walking through here, now it's now it's not a nasty alley, it's like a nice place. In Tallahassee, Christian Thomas, ABC 27. The Downtown Improvement Authority also made their Stand Tall mural in Galley Alley, a shirt to encourage people during the pandemic. If you want to see improvements downtown, reach out to the Tallahassee Downtown with concerns. We've got a link to do that with this story on WTXL.TV.